years now, and there's also been the two most incredible years of my life. And I want to take this time to reflect on that journey. And I joined NYC um, because for a long time I thought that young people um, weren't being listened to and they weren't being involved in the decisions that mattered. And decision makers would listen, but they wouldn't hear us, they wouldn't act on what that we were telling them. So I served the young people who made way first as their member of UK Youth Parliament. I, I, I still remember the day um, that I stood over there and gave my first speech and now here standing um, to give my last. And, and that was um, the most you know, amazing thing that I've probably ever done um, yet in my life. And then I served, um, obviously, as chair of Medway Youth Council. And these are two of possibly the highest positions that any young person uh, in Medway might be able to have. And I think it's important to note that these positions are not an honour or a privilege necessarily. They're fundamentally a responsibility. A responsibility to use this platform to defend the voice of young people and to champion their views in order to influence decision makers that makes the policy um, that benefits us all. And it's also about leaving these roles with more weight and influence than when I took these on. And although my legacy ultimately will be, det uh, be determined by one of you sitting around this table, I would like to think that all of us by working together we definitely achieve that. So my first challenge surrounded public transport, which we've heard lots uh, about tonight. And like so many young people, and young people perhaps still, they're frustrated with you know, transport issues. And this wasn't just where my first campaign began, but it was also where uh, I made my first friend here, which uh, is Christina, she's still here, she's just here. Uh, together, Christina and I teamed up to launch our survey, getting over 100 responses from Medway's young people. And this data then fed into our um, report, um, which we spent months uh, producing in consultation with uh, all of you. And despite decision makers that um, didn't turn up uh, to, you know, I think it was probably three meetings that we were promised they'd be there at, I turned this into an opportunity, an opportunity to make this report even better. And with every council meeting, I worked to craft even stronger arguments so that when the time came and they were in that room with all of us, we presented our profound case for change and gave them, you know, a, a fantastic presentation that I think has definitely made an impact. You know, a year later on, we see uh, contactless introduced, and we see improvements in reliability, and and things are certainly going in the, in the right way. And we now have that relationship um, with the bus company that went mentioned. And just uh, and and to all of you, I say that um, never be complacent and never be afraid to challenge things that you see to be wrong. And I think the greatest lesson I've learned from being here is that each of you are all more powerful than others would like you to believe, and that. When you put in the hard work, you can definitely achieve great things um, because roles, titles definitely do not yield positive results for communities, absolutely not. So in July of 2018, after much consideration, I chose to uh, stand um, in the chair election at the time, taking over from George, who has pushed NYC's rebrand forward and worked really hard on the Medway Youth Awards. I certainly felt a um, big challenge with big shoes to fill. But nevertheless, I, I began my vision for shaping NYC and taking it into its 20th year. And the first task um, over the summer was to create two new positions. <coughs> I feel like Theresa May with my coffee and um, <laughs> um, Which would work together to give an even greater outreach across um, the Medway community and make sure that we were more democratic than we had been in the past. And Archie worked with me all, all over summer to develop our Discord platform, which has been vital vital project in reducing barriers to getting your voice, voice heard here and making meetings accessible for those who can't be there. As we all know, I got to test out that, um, that um, feature while in hospital at Christmas last year, um, still being able to take part in full council when I probably, probably shouldn't have been doing that. Probably should be resting for them. Right? And Christina became the new democracy and engagement lead <coughs> to ensure that we operated democratically. And part of that was creating votes of no confidence against cabinet members um, so that any young person in Medway can, can have their voice heard here, um, and to support outreach work to other community organisations, which we've now worked with a lot more, I think, this year. And a key one of them was obviously the Medway Youth Service, who I've worked with for way over the last year um, to build a much closer relationship between the Youth Service and the Youth Council, because they both, we're both organisations that work with young people, so it makes complete sense that we join up and we work together to make sure the voice of young people um, is heard. And 
Finally, in summer, I refined the joining procedure for NYC to make it even simpler and clearer um, to become part of us. And I think one year later, our, our hard work to increase diversity and representation definitely has paid off, with our group being the most representative it has been uh, for a long while. So what well, after some would say it wasn't really a summer break, um, we set about the hard work of uh, creating our conference. Um, we did that, but before we did that, we did our Make Your Mark, the 2018 Make Your Mark. Um, and as a member of UK Youth Parliament, which is uh, what Anna is now, alongside the incredible Ori, who isn't unfortunately here, to, uh, is unfortunately not here today, um, we set about trying to get as many young people in Medway to, um, to vote on what the, their priorities, what the most important issue was to them. So from collecting votes from Chatham High Street to the many schools in Medway, we managed to increase the turnout by 100% on 2017 results meaning over 37% of the population of young people had their voice heard. In comparison, local election, um, council elections and EU election results turn out by percentage is much less. So actually, if you think about it, young people want their voice heard, and it's now time to make sure that that is heard. So it's an incredible accomplishment, and I'm, I'm sure we'll do even better next year. If you like, Anna. Uh, so all, after almost immediately the Make Your Mark finished, we um, had to deliver our conference which we planned from earlier.